Good morning, stampers and crafters. I know, it's been a while since I've done a video. It's uh, still a little difficult to, to uh, do video and things, but I have this really neat project that I wanted to share with you. We've got this new stamp set that's coming out. Um, as demonstrators, we get to pre-order. I am one of those people you can never have enough butterflies. Just saying. And this one is awesome because you get these wonderful butterflies and they come as the full set with a die that will cut them all out and all these other neat little dies that go with it, a brick wall and some other accents and small butterflies plus has the butterfly um, outlines that you can do over this. We'll be doing quite a few projects with this set along the way in the next few weeks. Along with that comes a really neat paper. It's six by six papers. And guess what? I love when they do this. The butterflies on one of the sheets, you can cut out. It lines up perfectly to cut out all the butterflies. We'll be using that today. So what I did is I took one of the sheets and I cut out the butterflies. Okay, we're going to probably be using one of those. But this little project we're going to do today, I've seen it and, and I just never thought much about it until I got a card in the mail from uh, a family member that had put something in it that when you open it the little surprise falls out so what we're going to do is we're going to create a butterfly <coughs> that flies and we're going to be creating this today now i've been on the internet and i've looked all around you can buy uh little flutter toys that you can put you know in boxes or cards or whatever and i thought well you know what I, they're inexpensive um i can put a link from or just go on amazon and you'll see little flutter toys this one you wind it up and then of course you would lay it in your card close it up and when they open it it's going to flutter out because it spins and it flies. But look at this. Isn't that cute? So anyway, I looked at several different ways to do this. And you can use paper clips. Um, you, I tried it with paper clips. And I also tried it with some uh, thin safety wire my husband had. And what I did is I found an easier way that you don't have to do as much. And you can probably do it with things you have in the house. And I wanted smaller uh, little butterflies. And I'm sure you can put other wings on these or whatever. Maybe the dragonfly set would be cute. Put some dragonfly wings on it or something. Anyway, I wanted to show you what I came up with. I will do a list of the supplies and what I will do is I will also try to put together a step-by-step -step photo um, PDF for you. Um, we'll see how that turns out. So here's a few of the supplies you're going to need. I went to Walmart, got a whole container of paper clip, or not paper clip, what do you think, safety pins. These are approximately, I'm going to say these are about one to one and a half inch uh, safety pins so I got those we're going to take one out then I went over to the hair supply area and I got children's and Lord knows I don't need all these and I have short hair now so I won't be tying up my hair but you can get this whole thing for like maybe a dollar dollar ten maybe but it's got these little tiny rubber bands and they're all, I thought it was really cute that they were all like different colors and I could do them to match 
whatever wings I was using. So I thought, well, that'll work. So I got those. And then I got some regular, um, they're not bobby pins, they're just hair pins. Okay? They're, they're thin and they're easy to bend. You could probably use a, uh, again, a paper clip, but I found these were really easy to bend, easy to cut. So we'll need one of those. And I, like I said, I cut out the butterflies and we're going to use the wing of this big one. So what I'll do is I'll grab a yellow, uh, yellow rubber band. Those are supplies. Let me set these aside. And then what I have, these I've had in my uh, craft stash forever. They're just a needle nose that you can, um, you know, wrap, make circles, do whatever. It's got a wire cutter right on it. If you don't have these, get all to your husband, who I'm sure, or your other significant other, They've got needle nose pliers, and most needle nose pliers have a wire cutter right on them, and these will work great, okay? Or just a little pair of wire cutters, okay? These work best because we do need to do some bending and some circles. So there's our supplies. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump right in. Now I'm going to take this safety pin. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you guys. Let's see. It's been a while since I've used my camera. Let's zoom in a little. Okay. So now, what we want to do is on the end with the circle, okay, we're going to take our needle nose pliers and we're just going to bend that circle is put your pliers right to the end of the circle and bend it like 90 degrees. They bend fairly easily. Okay. I don't want to lose my shape here. And see, I've bent that at 90 degrees. Okay. Make sure that's kind of straight. Okay, so we've got that. Now what we want to do is take our hairpin and I'm going to take my little pliers here. These may not work as well as the needle nose. And all I'm going to do is create a loop. We're going to create a little loop with that. Okay. Now. Now we'll be able to trim this later. It might be a little long. So what I want to do, because see your loop has to be small enough that it fits through the hole on your safety pin. Okay? So it'll sit through like that, which is okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rubber band, slide it on there, and put it into um, sorry, put it into the loop here. So that it's in your loop. Okay, see it there? And then this, feed it through the hole. Okay. Now, what I've found is the hardest part is getting your rubber band. And when you have limited use of your hand, it's kind of worse. On the safety pin, there's the little notch there. We want to get this rubber band over that notch. I'm going to try my pliers. Maybe that'll work better. This was the hardest part I found in making this whole thing. Is getting that rubber band in there. So what we can do. Let's try this. Let's open it up a little. So I'm just going to bend that a little so I can open it up. And get my rubber band up over that.
Like I said, this was my hardest part. Okay, oops. Okay, we got her. Oh, I almost had it. Okay, you guys are just going to watch how it's... <laughs> How we uh, have to uh, adapt this. So I want to get the rubber band in there. Oh, I had it, and then I pulled it off. So I'm going to open that up just a little bit more so I have a little more room. And then we'll be able to close it back. Plus, it's so tiny, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, I had it again, you guys. You know, when I did this before I started the video, I got it right on there. So, of course, now that I'm doing it on video... Oh, I have it. Okay. So, now I've got it on there. Okay. And I'm going to clip. Oops, I lost it. Trust me when I tell you, as much as this seems difficult, um, it's easier than some of the other uh, ways that I saw people doing this on the internet. I assume this has been around for quite some time. Okay. Okay. I get it on there and then my pliers pull it off. Okay, it's on there and I'm going to close the hole. I'm going to put my pin back in there. At the end of it. And then I'm just going to squeeze it closed to where that rubber band can't come off there. Okay? See, we got a rubber band in there. You can even kind of pinch it closed a little. You just don't want your rubber band to come off. Okay? And then this is already bent, so this is where you'll be winding it up. Don't see. That was the hardest part of this whole thing. Okay. So now I'm not gonna trim those off yet. We're gonna decide on what um, what wings we want to use. I'm just gonna make sure that's on there nice. And all I did is pinch it closed so it can't come off there. Okay. So now, I'm just going to use this butterfly right here. I'm just going to cut him in half. Now, I did try to use <clears throat> a hot glue gun here to put these wings on. But what I found was that was much harder to get it to stick to metal. So all I'm going to do is we're creating our two wings. Right there, I'm just going to cut it off. And what's really nice is the back side of this paper has a nice little design on it. You could color the back. You could do anything you want. So there's the top and bottom Trim off his body here a little bit. And then we're going to cut it straight across. And we got our top and bottom wing again. So on the bottom one, is I just brought in some regular scotch tape. Take a little piece of scotch tape. I'm going to put it on the wing here and tuck it through and, and tape it to the safety pin. You could draw wings. If you don't have a butterfly set, just draw some wings with your markers and cut them out. There we go. See, so you got that taped on there. 
Let's do the other one. I'll trim this body off a little bit. And tuck it through. Just going to make sure it's not in the way of your rubber band. Got our two bottom wings See there. Now we're going to take our top wing. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to the top here and then just wrap it around my upper spinner here. I'm going to go all the way to the end, and that way I don't even have to trim off my hairpin. Just wrap it around there. I'm just going right to the edge of the wing. Oops, it moved, sorry. I'm just going to take it and tape it right to there. And looky there, you guys, we have our butterfly. So then, before you put it in a card, you just take and wind it up real good. And then you can just set it in your card and when they open it he flies isn't that cool isn't that fun you know what this would be really cute with those of you that know how to make those card boxes and just make a bunch of these little butterflies and put them in the box and when they open the box he flies there you go that was my way or my simple way of creating a action flutter butterfly quick and easy to add to your projects i have a card swap coming up so i'm pretty sure that somebody's going to get some floating butterflies in their in their card swap cards but look at that ready ready he's gonna fly there he went I hope you enjoyed today's fun class. I will put the supplies and I will go ahead and try to do a step-by-step -step picture tutorial um, showing how to make this one step at a time, the supplies I used. And I hope you have a happy stamping day. Bye-bye, everyone.